room like that. <laughs> hey, you've got a pretty good bill for somebody your age. What were you doing in my bathroom? And so have you. I was handing you the shampoo. And thank you. You know, you had a lot of gall just barging into my bathroom like that. Now look, I'm, I'm sorry, but relax. I've seen naked men before. Although I must admit you're my first stranger. <laughs> Do you mind if I put on my pants? No, I don't mind. <laughs> Doesn't anyone in your generation have manners? Generation. When I handed you the shampoo in the shower, you didn't even say thank you. <laughs> no, but you noticed I bowed. <laughs> Except when I'm being observed in the shower by a peeping tomboy. Peeping tomboy. Mm. Look, Mr. Barrington, I'm a photographer. I agreed to come over here and take the pictures for your layout in the New York Times. Now, we got started off on the wrong foot, and I've really been trying to apologize. But all you do is sit there and say that you don't holler. Well, I holler. And frankly, I came here to do a good professional job, and all I end up doing is yelling at a pompous ass. Well, I see you two have met. <laughs> For the last time. Good. Wait a minute. Yeah, Barbara, let her go. No, Charlie, you just can't walk out on a job. And Richard, you need some good pictures. Now, there is no reason why we can't have a truce. Right, Al? Right. Be good business. We could sell arms to both sides. <laughs> Richard, come on, get dressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be right back. Doesn't he ever yell? Now, just settle down, Charlie. He's really a very nice guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I guess that sometimes I do have a pretty short fuse. Hey, here I am talking to Richard Barrington's assistant, and it just hit me. You're black. <laughs> Damn, you're right. No, what I mean is, how can a black person work for Richard Barrington? Hey, he's a hell of a good writer, and I've learned a lot from him. And I happen to be a conservative, too. You know what? What? You're weird. <laughs> I don't care about the pictures, Barbara. Well, she's a wizard with a camera. Look. So? Dean Martin's very photogenic. That is not Dean Martin. That is Henry Kissinger. <laughs> You know, they say for $1,500 now, they can take away all these lines under your eyes. Don't worry. Between the lines, you're very cute. She's in my bedroom again. I came in to apologize. Accepted. Now, would you please get out of my bedroom? I don't think you really... Barbara, would I'm you show sorry. her out of my bedroom, please? I really want to apologize. Out of my bedroom? Would you tell him, would you tell him I'm sorry? Out. Out. Just out. I, tell me, tell me one thing. Does he at least yell at you? Do you know... I don't remember that we ever fought about anything. Now, can we get on with this? I do have a call on the right. Why don't we start right here? Mm. Hey, I better get out of here. <clears throat> I gotta make a stop at the Pentagon, then across town to the Hill. One o'clock appointment with Chief Justice Berger. Well, Berger reminds me, I have time to stop at McDonald's for a Big Mac. <laughs> Keep the faith, Chuck. Well, how's this? Hmm? Uh, too stiff. New Just stuff. Just try and relax. Yeah. 
Drink coffee, though. Steve, what do you do in the morning? I, what I'm doing. <laughs> Why are you taking that away? Uh, I'd rather not have it in the picture. It, well, I like it there, you see. It, it's always there. Okay. Where are you going with those? I can't take a picture of grapes. Why not? Until the last contract is signed with the United Farm Workers, there's still a grape boycott. <laughs> Would you stop talking like a sorority house socialist? Children, children. You don't care about the poor people who pick grapes. How about us poor people who like to eat grapes? <laughs> I mean, I happen to disagree with the boycott. This is a free country. Those are my grapes. I'd like you to take a picture of my grapes. I will not. I have my principles. You have my grapes. <laughs> now, take the picture. Do you know what you are? Do you know what you, what you really are? You are a person who never gets emotionally involved with life. You are... You... Did I call you a pompous ass before? Yes. Damn, I wish I said it for now. <laughs> well, I insist that you take a picture of my grapes. I am holding my grapes. I want you to take a picture of me so the whole world can see me holding my grapes. You want... What you want, let me get this, is the whole world to see your grapes. The right? entire world. The whole Holy, world. My, Good, where are you going with my grapes? Sorry. Look, world! <laughs> grapes! <laughs> and I hope they misunderstood me. She's cute. <laughs> Coming, Barbara. Food, glorious food. What a young... Stay horse fed. <laughs> what are you doing here? My job. I'm supposed to shoot you as a charming gourmet chef and host, and that's what I'm going to do. You brought me grapes? Um, no matter how I felt about them, I was rude. Rude is rude. I love your mittens, they're you. <laughs> Thank you. They keep me from biting my nails. <laughs> I'm having a martini. Can I fix you one? No, thanks. When I drink, I lose my inhibitions. <laughs> you mean up to now you've been inhibited? <laughs> uh, not while I'm cooking, please. Hmm? Not while I'm cooking. You're going to drive me crazy with the camera, please? 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 Okay. Okay, let's talk. 